everybody, it's your girl Leash. I'm Lo. I'm Tess. And we are single, married, and divorced. So y'all, did y'all hear about this week? Oh yeah, I know what you want to talk about. Uh, you want to talk about what are you talking about? Um, Denzel. Ah. Denzel so fine. He said, I got the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm putting up in the hip, y'all, the game. I believe that, though. Do you really? I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. mm. So basically, what what did he say to He said, happy wife, happy life. Y'all agree with that? That's a really strong statement. Mm -hmm. A strong statement? I think it's a strong statement, and I I think it goes, um, I'm on both ends. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Yeah, I know. I think I agree with you a little bit. Okay. But I, I think that, like, I don't know. I think it can be dangerous. It's a dangerous, it's a dangerous energy to put out there, especially for the climate that we live in with these women who truly are so selfish. So I'm not sure mm-hmm. if I really want that in the atmosphere about because basically it's saying like, forget the dude. It's all about the woman. You make her happy, then you'll be happy. So does that term apply to a, um, a woman who is really a woman, who's someone who's smart, someone who isn't going to take her power, you know, to the extreme? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I think I so I think that like anything, it's got to be a balanced equation. So happy life, happy wife. Who's on the other side of that? It should be a happy husband. Yeah. And if not, then the equation is unbalanced, right? right? And and you need to look at something. So I think happy wife, happy life. I think that's absolutely true. If your wife is happy. Life is gonna be happy, but that, I don't think that statement necessarily means that you you serve her without reward mm-hmm. uh, for forever and ever because nobody should do that for anyone, no. right, regardless of right. if it makes them happy or not. Right, right. If it doesn't if it doesn't make you happy. It make you yeah, happy. yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Um, happy wife, happy life. Um, I agree with it because women, anything a man gives us, we're gonna give it back ten times, right? right. So we're gonna we're gonna multiply that. We're gonna give it back. We're gonna give. If he give us love. We're gonna give him ten times more love. He give us affection. We're gonna give that right back to him. If he's sincere, we're gonna be sincere as well. So I understand where they're coming from. Happy wife, happy life. I do get that. Then on the flip side of it, again, as we were just saying, you can't give a woman too much power, especially if mm-hmm. she doesn't deserve you really it. Really can't. So yeah, and I, I believe that wholeheartedly. Like I mean, we can be some. Yes. Ooh, we some selfish and some, you know, we will take advantage. We will take advantage of that power very quickly. But, I mean, as a person who's married, mm-hmm. as someone who's married, um, I think that exists a little bit in most marriages. But like you said, Tiff, I don't think that it should be like, it shouldn't be just one-sided. I think that the, right. I think that just in general, I think things should always be balanced. The yin mm-hmm. and the yang, the feminine and it the, has and the to masculine. Be. Mm-hmm. It has to be a balance. You can't come into anything in in my opinion, without there being some type of my eye. So, right. I mean, I think it should say happy wife, happy life, and then like dot, 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 happy husband, and then something else. Happy it wife. Yeah, yeah, happy same. husband, happy yeah. wife. Yeah, <laughs> she definitely with that. It's the same. Yeah, and so as somebody that's divorced, right, that whole happy wife, happy life thing, if you have to caveat it with, you know, only if the woman deserves the power, like, I went through a marriage, and I will tell you, I never ever want to be in a relationship where power is a struggle. Yeah, mm-hmm. like never. I never, Mm-mm. I am never doing that again. This is not a fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are, we are partners. Yes, we are on the same side all the time, and um, so so that that struggle for power does create friction that makes one person feel like they have to establish themselves over the other person and I think that when women are in relationships where they're doing that they really should just evaluate you know why are you choosing to be in this relationship is it for any reason other than what it gains you and if a man finds himself on the opposite end of that then you know that's something for him to think about too I think Mm. a lot of women specifically women we grow up without fathers so you don't see how like how the balance is supposed to be. You don't see how it's supposed to be like, you know, like like equal. I grew up in a, in a house with the mother and the father, so I saw the dynamics mm-hmm. between a male and a female. Mm-hmm. So when I started to date, to date, I never really had issues because I always knew there are roles. Like mm-hmm. there are specific gender roles. And mm-hmm. I know we live in this like neo-feminism, you know, like right. time where, you know, it's like, you know, the woman, no. Yes, we are strong, we are powerful, we are smart. But there are absolutely differences from a man and a female. And I think if you want a successful relationship, 
you really have to make sure that you keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how to run your marriage or your right. relationship, but I'm telling you, there should be some type of specific situations because that's what happens. A lot of times you have these females nowadays and they're extremely masculine. Mm -hmm. Like they come into, they hit the man, they talk to the man crazy. Mm -hmm. Like they run mm -hmm. the show. And I'm not saying that a woman cannot run the relationship, but I think it's best when the man is the, is the, is the head. Yeah, behavior so, like that demonstrates a lack of respect. Yeah, and yeah, she yeah, didn't yeah. see and, it, and you know? Men, I mean, it's, it's impossible to have a good relationship with any male that isn't based on respect, because that's just what drives men. Right. Mm -hmm. They have to be right. mm -hmm. respected. And right. so, any relationship where you go, I mean, like, you just go, you just go slap your dude. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, your shit is out here like that. Yo, I knew a dude, he was like that. He was like, his what he used to get beat. Like, legit beat. Like, it's not men. We are not laughing at you if you were like a man who's like being like abused by a woman. I'm sorry. Go seek help. I'm but, sorry. I didn't mean to laugh at you. But, you know, it's go crazy. Get help. Yeah, go get help. Because no help. one should be getting beat on. But tell, we us, tell us the story. First, before you well, go Like, get when help. you laid up in the hospital <laughs> recuperating and you just got time on your hands. Oh, my God. Just send us an email and Wait, tell us what happened. Okay, happens. okay. Let me, can I tell you guys this? This is like really like, this is, that's it, like off the like, kilter. So, you guys know I work overnight. Mm -hmm. So, last night, um, this girl had parked her car in a hotel parking lot and went to a club, a very famous club in South Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't supposed to park there, but she slid the security guard like $10. Mm -hmm. Little did she know, her bo ex-boyfriend, the, like the father of her children, had followed her, oh. followed her to the club. She goes to the club, he watches her go to the club. <laughs> when she goes in the club, he runs across the field, literally a field, <laughs> goes to her car, Flattens, she, he slashes all four of her tires, y'all. Wow. He slashes all four of her tires. He rips off her windshield wipers. <laughs> and he keys her car. <laughs> so the security guard sees him like, I swear, I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. The security guard sees some funny business going on, right, y'all? So he like, he like, he has a bad hip, so he like hobbles like, hey, what's up, man? What's going on? So the guy who does it, he, he, he's like, um, oh, yeah, you know, I'm a guest here. So he goes, well, what's, what room you in? So he ain't no room. He just, like, hauls ass. He, like, runs across the damn field into a Taco Bell, hops in the car, and drives off. Oh, and I'm God. sitting here thinking, like, that's crazy. In 20, like, in all my years of living, I have never heard of a man oh, my God. slashing a female's oh, tires. God. He was he, mad. He was like, bitch, even if you get the tires fixed, you Yo. ain't gonna be able to drive in the rain. Yo, he, she, he ripped, like, he incredible hulked her, like, windshield wiper. He ripped them shits off the frame. And he keyed the car, right? So the police come, right? This is a true story. Yeah, I swear, I'm not making this up. The police come, and the girl's like, he always does this. This is not the first time. Oh, he always does this. This is not the first time he has vandalized my car. <laughs> so her other friend is like, Kiki, I told you, you so stupid. I told you, leave him alone. Leave him alone. And I'm just saying, whoa. Oh, my like, God. And, and it's so crazy because, like, just going back, like, women sometimes equate violence with love. Like, girl, are you mm -hmm. crazy? Yes. I need mean, yes. a video yes, yes, about yes, that, y'all. Yes, yes. Please go watch it. Yes. Yo, Please it's go a good watch video. Um, that video I recorded. It's about trauma. Yo, like, violence does not equal love. It mm -hmm. does not. Yeah. And, and no way, shape, or point. And this is the girl. She looked like she was, like, around 26. And they had a kid together. So I'm thinking, like, how mm. upset is this guy? Mm. Like, so now your kid has Big no way man. to get around. Big yeah. Man. Your kid has no way to get around. Ooh, these men are so emotional this these is, days. I have, have y'all ever Look, heard of a man slashing a, a, a tire? I blame Drake. <laughs> <laughs> but she was married to a lesbian guy, too, so, you know. Here Drake, you are, you are responsible. Oh, 100, 110%. Listen for the, for the emotional yeah. man movement. Listen, happy wife, happy life is true, but you, it just got to be balanced, and those roles have to be defined. And women cannot come up in and acting like men, and and men, please don't come in, come in a situation acting like ladies. Right, you know, like right. You gotta have some type of like, you know, have some type of, Woo. you know, masculinity. Yeah, if I, I envision you choking me. Yeah. Then we just can't even talk. Right, you have to. The woman can't like run, run everything. You have yeah. to have some type of what's the word I'm looking for? Low? You have to have some type of like backbone. Yes. You know, don't let these take women. Charge. Yeah. yeah, because I'm gonna take this. Charge. I'll tell you this. I, I'm almost certain that if a man is in a position to where the woman is like taking, like you know, taking over and taking charge, he don't respect that relationship. No. He doesn't. He doesn't. He is unfulfilled because I think naturally men need to They want to provide. Yeah. They want to give. They mm -hmm. want to take charge. They do. So mm -hmm. well, we have so, to give them that. 
So do you think that if a man is in a situation where he's not the primary earner in a household, that he's somehow less committed to the relationship? Not in 2018, I don't think so. No. So, because, now, now, say for instance, he's not the sole provider because he's working on his dream. That's the so sole right provider, now, but maybe he just only provides a little bit. Well, maybe he's doing something. Maybe he's, like, working on his dream, okay. and right now it's in, like, a slow period, but they have foresaw that in, like, two years he's going to be making this amount of money. So then that, so I'm asking not for the women. Do you think that impacts the way, do you think a man is more likely to not be faithful? To oh, him? yeah, I think so. It depends on the man. I think it depends on the man. So I'm taking, so because I'm taking care of you, supporting you, and helping you through, you are more likely to cheat on me. Isn't that like that movie Acrimony that just came out? I don't know. I think it was based on that. Yeah, I think it was like the guy was like, okay, that's he, he didn't have any money, he didn't have any money, and then like, he came into some money and then like the, the the girlfriend couldn't take it anymore. She left him or something like that. Mm-hmm. It was something like that. But you know, I think it's true. I think men, you know, men, let me tell you this. In my opinion, I think men are way more sensitive than women. I think it's just oh, like, yeah, yeah I, I just think that we just like, ours is more showful. Maybe not more sensitive. I think they're just equally sensitive. Equal? I think, yeah, I think there's just a human amount of sensitivity that exists in most people. Right. And I think that depending on your personality, you might express that in, in different ways, uh, you know, just based on what pushes your button. I mean, I don't know. I think um, that men are, um, maybe it's, it's equal. We both human beings, um, but, you know, we do have different levels of um, chemicals in us, you know, right. that, that makes us react yeah. differently to mm-hmm. certain situations. So I would take that into account as well. That's yeah. true. That's true. It's, it's definitely true. true that testosterone and that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, but now to me, I mean, we can just go on. This is just go on and on because mm-hmm. now with all the, like, the introduction of, like, all these chemicals and the food we eat, you have women. I see men all the time, like the boobs, like literally boobs. So I think oh, yeah, the yeah, dynamics, yeah. the chemical, mm-hmm. like, yeah. like mm-hmm. the, things are changing. It's in, it's in the yeah. yeah, things are changing, and and I think this is why you have an influx of these hypersensitive, hyper like feminine men mm-hmm. because they're eating all these foods, and these foods are having adverse effects on their chemical makeup. Mm-hmm. And the same thing I think for females. I think that they're having an adverse, especially like birth control and some of these mm-hmm. things that they're taking. They really have an adverse effect. So then you go back and say happy happy wife, happy life. But you know, it's again, it's not balanced because you, we're all, everyone is walking around chemically unbalanced at this point. And that's another thing. How do you how do you make someone happy? I think a part of making a person happy is making sure that they're eating well, mm-hmm. making sure that they're well rested, making sure that they're spiritually cared for. And so <clears throat> if happy wife, happy life entails all of those things, I've got a husband who's concerned about, um, you know, the way I feel and what I think and values my contribution in his life, truly sees me as a partner, that would make anyone happy. And you would be reciprocating that right back to the person that's giving it to you. So I guess I guess that makes the statement true. Yeah. I mean, but I think in today's society, do people really know how to do that? Right. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah. Like, do you know how to right. love? Do you know how to reciprocate? Do you know how to have this relationship? And um, today, I don't think that, that we do. I think we need to oh, go back. Oh, you can't put stuff like that out in the universe. Of course we do. I think, no. So I, you think I it's agree. natural? No, I, I agree, though. I agree, though. I think, because what I think, number one, I think is if you want to have a happy marriage or happy life with so, someone else, mm-hmm. you need to make sure that you're happy first. Because if you're not happy first, you're going to be like a, a nightmare for whoever you're around. Like, mm-hmm. So work on your mm-hmm. own happiness yes. first. That's like that my numero so uno. Absolutely. Like that work so on, your, on your happiness first. Yeah. Make sure that you are happy with your life. Because mm-hmm. one thing men don't like is if they have to entertain you. If they have to constantly fight to make you happy. If they have oh, to all, yeah. like, they anybody, don't want to. Yeah, I don't, that. that's, that's a, you know, that's a big. You've got to be self-sufficient. That's yeah. why people are glad when their kids get older. Yeah. Like, great, right, go play with your Barbies. Yeah. Not with me. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. like, you know, kids are little it's and exhausting. needy. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. It's, it's, nobody it's wants a dream. partner like that. Yeah. Right. And but you would hope that you find a partner that you're similar enough with that just in your everyday goings on, you guys find plenty of time to to mesh together and, and be together and and just share in each other's vibrations, like just throughout the day, so that you're always coming back together at some point. I think just being, I think, and also being aware too. Being aware, like, mm-hmm. like that has been like for me, like one of the biggest 
like keys to my success right. with my marriage is like being aware of like the things that I'm, I'm doing wrong things that I'm doing right my flaws you know the things mm -hmm. that make me like a great person for my husband right and I think that like we must always keep that in the back of our mind because a relationship a marriage is work mm -hmm. it is work it, like a friendship you don't it's, just yeah it's just it's work and it's nobody work. wants to live life with somebody who thinks they're always right about everything mm -mm. right you have got we are all wrong at some point like just relax right right and I and I tell this to all my friends all the time if there was one piece of advice I could give I would say like be a man's piece like be mm. like happy wife happy life you want a happy wife you want a happy life happy wife be the man's peace like be the peace like yeah. no one wants to come home and you, you just start popping up at the mouth right. he, he's worked all day long and you sitting at home doing nothing all day I'm not, and I'm not saying that you're doing any, nothing at any all day but I'm just saying just find oh, a way you're doing nothing all day oh they're moving out here though be sucking dick when he get home but <laughs> 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 What you do today, girl? Nothing. Oh. But there are women out there, and we all have met a woman, a, a one or two of them, who literally don't do anything but cause their man grief. Oh, not nobody like that, Alicia. I don't know them personally, but I I know of them. And if you are that woman out there, ooh, shame on you. Shame ooh, you on raggedy. Don't be that way. Ooh, you raggedy, don't girl. You that. raggedy. Let them live. Yeah. Yeah. Let them live. Or, or just leave. Or just leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just if leave. you're not that if happy. If you're not happy, just leave. If you're not a happy wife and don't have a happy life, you need to move on. Mm -hmm. But then how's she going to get out of here, though? Well, get a girl. Be, she better get a job. You better. What did you say she was doing before? Second day? <laughs> <laughs> you live in Atlanta. You can make a profession out of that. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, but, uh, but yeah, we do, we gotta be good to each other. Yeah, we gotta be good. We, we gotta be we good to, to each other. We have to. It's it's imperative. That's the only reason we do it. If I want my fucking to be mean to me, I just walk around and give people side eye while I'm walking down the street. Mm -hmm. And and around? it's so worth it. It's worth it to have like a healthy. Like you Just know, peaceful situation. Life. It's so it's worth it. It's worth yeah. it. And, I mean, that's what life is about. That is that's true. Mm -hmm. What it's about when you could just come home and you have that peace and you like, oh, I'm home and it's just so amazing. I don't have like everything that's going on outside doesn't even affect me because I'm here yes. and this is like my I serenity. Made it. I made this is it my back. serenity. Yes. yes, I can't wait to get home. Yeah. And I, I, you know, like what's that Jill Scott song? And she said that, no, nah, girl, I, I gotta go to my man and. She, mm -hmm. she she hit it right in the head like mm -hmm. is like is it the way like I just gotta go like mm -hmm. yeah. ain't nothing mm -hmm. nothing y'all got for me right. yeah, yeah 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 so yeah <laughs> perfectly said yeah. yeah so happy wife happy life mm -hmm. happy husband happy life mm -hmm. um, reciprocation is key and um, you know treating people how you want to be treated right you hit it all the time. And it's no different in your relationships, I think. Yep. Those intimate yep. relationships. And there it is. We'll wrap it up for us. Yep, yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Reciprocity. Yes, yes. We'll see y'all next time. All right, y'all. All right. Thanks. Thanks.